1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says in the Amplified Version, casting the whole of your care, all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns once and for all on him, for he cares for you affectionately and cares about you watchfully. Isn't that a beautiful passage? Do you know, the American uh, Ge Geatric Society says that there is a direct correlation between chronic anxiety and dementia. Isn't that something else? That is when a person constantly worries and has anxieties, it affects their brain. Here's a little short story to kind of show you about the effects of chronic anxiety and dementia. A new study published in the Journal of the American Geriatric Society shows that chronic anxiety can have real consequences on your brain. Researchers found that older adults who were anxious most of the time over a five-year period had increased risk of being diagnosed with dementia. Current evidence indicates that while chronic stress may play a role in the development or progression of dementia, it does not necessarily cause dementia. This should get your attention. None of us want to have dementia, right? We don't want to be forgetful. We don't want to go through this, this period that can bring such grief to a person and their family. But I do believe there is a correlation. Now, this is not to say that chronic anxiety causes a dementia, but it can exasperate it. It can increase it. And we want to do anything we can to have a sound and healthy mind. After all, God has promised us a sound and healthy mind. Now, first of all, I don't think I have to convince any of you that you want to get rid of worry. And some of you right now are going through so much worry and anxiety. You are just so stressed out financially about your health, about your marriage, about your children. You're stressed out about your career, about your, your schooling. You're, you're stressed out about your church. You're just, you're, there's so much stress in your life. And I believe God has sent this message to you to get you delivered. But here's what I want you to understand is you do have control over anxiety. The fact that Peter says, cast all your anxiety, all your concerns, all your worries on him means you can do it because God would be unjust to demand you to do something you can't do, right? Nowhere in the Bible does God say to jump, you know, 15 feet in the air because you can't do that. But what he does tell you to do is get rid of your worries. Even Jesus in the great sermon on the Mount said, do not worry about tomorrow. So the fact that Jesus says don't worry means you have the power not to worry. Now, I know this is a shock to some of you because you're, you're so much full of anxiety. It's like it's your lifestyle and you just can't figure out how to stop this worry. You know, you go to sleep and you toss and turn. You hardly get any sleep. You're, 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 you have a pit in your stomach and, and you say to yourself, I know I should worry, but I can't stop it. Well, there's a good reason why you feel that way is there's new discoveries that when we start to develop a certain thinking pattern, it actually creates certain neural pathways. Best way to describe it is like a river. When water begins to flow in a certain way, it cuts through the ground, opens it up, makes it deep so that the water flows in it, through it. Uh, and that's the way our, our brain is. There are certain neural pathways that have been developed through the years by constantly thinking a certain way. So when you're constantly worried about something, you're creating a pathway, a river, if I could say. And you know how hard it is to change the river? Now, here's the thing. The river can be changed. I know I live right here in El Paso. The Rio Grande got changed years ago, and that caused the Mexican government to be upset because it went south and took away some of their property. So we made a treaty with them and, and, man, and manually brought the, the Rio Grande back to where it was originally. So even humans can change the course of rivers. And here's the thing. You can change the course of how you think. And Peter tells you how to do it. He says, cast the whole. Now, the whole means all of it. Kenneth Hagin was preaching on this, called for people to come forward. And he heard a dear woman crying out, oh, God, oh, God, I, I, I suppose that you could just take half of my burdens. I can carry the other half. And Kenneth Hagin said, why would you want to pray that when you can go ahead and have the Lord carry all your burdens? <laughs> and a lot of people don't realize that. You can live a worry-free life. It's up to you. It reminds me of a funny story I heard about a businessman 
who was suggested by his wife, you need to hire someone to worry for you because you worry all the time. So he put out an ad. He interviewed a man and, and he says, your only job is to worry for me. I'm not going to worry anymore. I'm not going to worry about anything. The man said, well, I think I can handle it. How much does it pay? He says, I'll pay you $200,000 a year. The man looked and said, man, how are you going to get that kind of money to pay me? The man says, that's your first worry. <laughs> and wouldn't it be nice to be able to give your worries to someone? But are you ready? <laughs> you can. You can give it to the Lord. <laughs> Do you get this? And the good thing about the Lord is he can take your worries and he never gets stressed out about it. And see, that's what God wants you to do is take your worries and give it to him. Now, here's the thing. God's not going to yank the worries out, out from you. You have to give it to him. If you don't give it, he's not going to take it. Well, Lord, take the cares away from me. God says, give it to me and I'll take it. But you have to cast your cares. And this is the prayer of God of commitment to God, the prayer of release, where you're releasing your burdens. Isn't it time that you release your burdens? Are you tired of not sleeping? Are you tired of the knot in your stomach? Are you tired of having your heart beating fast? Are you tired of this worry-filled life? Yes, Bishop, I'm so tired. Then why don't you give your cares to the Lord once and for all? Not so that you have to keep doing it every single day, but once and for all, just do it. Give it to him and say, no more worry in my life. Why don't you pray this prayer right now? Say, Father in heaven, I've heard your word and your word tells me you care about me and that you watch out for me and that I am supposed to give you the whole of my cares, all of my worries, all my anxieties once and for all to you. So, Father, I take all of my anxieties. Now, think about the anxieties you have. What are you worried about? Okay? And then say, I give it to you. I cast the whole of this care to you, God. In Jesus' name, amen.